Thanks, Erica. Uh, yeah, I thought uh, overall, uh, again, it's a, it's a night where the weather, you know, plays a factor. There's a, you know, 35 mile per hour wind pretty consistently the whole game. So um, the chances, I think, for both teams were, you know, few and far between. Uh, I thought we did actually play pretty well. The first half uh, controlled uh, the ball. Our, our passing was sharp. Our combinations were we're good. Um, did we have a ton of, of chances? No, but I, I still think uh, a couple little half chances when you think about the one that the great ball Danny plays to Mikel. Um, and in the tight games, you know, you, you have to make a play uh, maybe from from nothing. Uh, you know, and I thought that got in at halftime with a zero, which was good. Uh, it's a very talented LAFC team. Uh, again, not a ton of opportunities in the second half for either group, um, and, and probably uh, a draw is a, a fair result. John, uh, first of all, how's Julio concussion for Yeah, unfortunately, um, you know, he takes the knock in the, the first minute, um, gets assessed, and I guess passed that assessment. And um, we got in at halftime, and um, I think Julian mentioned that he was, he was dizzy. And obviously, once that word said, um, you're going to be proactive and, and, and do the right thing and take them out. So um, that's the the way that went. Um, we'll, we'll get tested now and we'll kind of see where he's at. Um, but yeah, we missed him. Uh, obviously, he's. Uh, I thought he actually had a really good first half, um, but we missed him. And you know, we'll have others have to step up. Yeah, look, I think there were good performances within the group. You know, Andre didn't have a ton to do, you know, against a really scary LAFC group where they have, you know, seven or eight attacking pieces that are uh, really, really good. So uh, I thought Damien was excellent. Uh, Jack and him partnered well together. Uh, bueno was was very simple. You know, one is tackles, one and two touch playing forward. I thought he did a, a great job. McGlynn was, was, was solid. Ollie did a decent job too. And, you know, um, you know, on a different night, you know, the, the the ones just a little bit off sides where the goal gets called back we're close there um you know so it's a it's a hard one but again when we looked at the schedule and you knew these were the games against you know Cincinnati and LAFC those are up a, a notch uh in terms of the quality that's on the field so um of course we want to win every game uh again credit to the fans that stuck out uh uh, pretty crappy weather uh, for 90 minutes and, and cheered us on. I know we want to win every game, um, but the reality is um, that that's a good LAFC team. We kept a clean sheet, which is important, uh, and now we'll move on to Dallas at home. For sure. You know, look, I, you can talk to Steve, and I talked to him for a little while before the game. It's 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 tough, you know. Um, what what should be, you know, uh, a great rematch of, of last year's final and probably the best game, um, you know, best final that there's there's been. Um, should have a week build up of hype and 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 fresh players. That would be ideal. Uh, obviously, the schedule uh, doesn't allow that. Uh, we have a lot of guys, you know, with little injuries and, and knocks here and there, and he has to keep guys fresh for uh, uh, Campione's Cup or I don't know what, what whatever it's called. <laughs> um, so, you know, it, it becomes difficult. So, you know, these are, you know, games of high intensity, really good opponent, but um, I don't think either team's, you know, best group uh, was on the field with with you know being fresh and, and the things that you guys would like to see. So that's the reality of the schedule. Um, we've played a lot of games. They've played a lot of games, and you have to kind of navigate that um, and have some rotation and, and different things like injuries prevent that from happening. Jim, it seemed like LAFC was content to let you guys go down the left through, mm -hmm. through Nathan and, and, and those guys. Um, was there any thought to doing more to be able to get, get Jack McGlynn on that side with the ball, or what did you see on that side? Yeah, look, Jack, I thought we did have some good actions. Look, we are a right-sided predominant team, right? You guys watch us play enough to, to recognize that. Um, but in the first half, we actually did have some good combinations and got Kai, him on the ball, Danny, good, good combos um, in really tight spaces. Even when we lost a short pass, we did a good job counter-pressing. And uh, 
look, that's a team that they did come in and, and sit a little bit with a back five, which they don't usually play. Um, so there was some respect there in, in, in that regard. Um, but we did a good job of not letting them get out on the break. A couple times they came at us uh, for sure in transitions, and we, we dodged a bullet or two. But, um, yeah, you're right, Jack, when he's on the ball, I, I still thought he had a, a really strong game for us. His ability to pass through the lines is good. Um, and, yeah, we had some combinations on the right-hand side. Nathan, uh, I thought, defended really, really well. Um, would he like a couple of the, the turnovers back or little balls that got deflected and maybe started things the other way? Um, yeah, he, he was close. Um, but, yeah, again, it's a, it's a game where – there weren't a ton of chances either way. There's still high quality players on the field, and there's a a playoff type of uh, intensity. And teams that still need points right now. So uh, again, as much as we won three, you know, to keep a clean sheet uh, against a really good attacking team that threw on uh, what you guys saw them throw on at the end of the game, it still is uh, an important point for us. So we're not happy, but it's a point. Hey, Jim, would you say uh, that at some points in the match there was way too much passing in the box instead of taking the shots? Yeah, we, we probably could have pulled the trigger a couple times. The ones that come to mind are the, the ball that Ollie plays over the top to Danny's chest, and he tries to maybe lay a square ball rather than just, you know, putting his laces through the ball. Um, you know, Mikel has the one where – uh, he, he just hits it over the over the goal. Also, another good pass by Danny. Um, maybe if he can lay down and keep it low. I know it's not easy. Easier said than done. But um, those little half chances in these types of games are the difference. And then the ones just a little bit offsides, uh, where you actually do a, a decent action uh, and get in behind them. Um, so again, close, but you know, not not quite enough to to get the three points tonight. Yeah. Look at, at that point. It's. Um, you know, it's the second game in a, in a week. There's a little bit of fatigue through the group, um, and, and we wanted some fresh legs uh, to, to come in. And, and Quinn did a good job, obviously, last game. Um, so nothing to do with uh, how he played. I thought he did a good job. Uh, but at that point, they put three fresh guys on that side um, with the subs that they made. So just to kind of counter that, we put a, a little bit of fresh legs there. But nothing to do with Jack's play. I thought he was really good tonight. Yeah, I think both guys have different skill sets, right? So, um, you know, if you if you blended the two, you, you'd have a, a perfect, you know, kind of right back. But they've done it both have, have had really good seasons. Um, you know, Nate's worked really hard on his crossing and driving into that green zone. Um, you know, some nights with the ball, uh, you lose a few, and that's okay. We want him to be confident. He's still a young defender. Um, but overall, I still think he had a, uh, a good game and, and had a really tough assignment with the, some of the bodies that they bring in fresh off the bench. You know, they have some uh, real quality. I'll just say Boanga, you know, if you look at his numbers, I think he has 25, 27 goals in all competitions this year, and, and, and that's not an easy thing when he comes in with fresh legs. So um, he's a defender first. Um, the offensive stuff he's going to get better and better at, and uh, I think he's a, a, a top outside back uh, in our league, and uh, the offensive side will always improve. Yeah. Uh, what have you seen from him? You know, obviously getting up to speed with the team halfway yeah. through on the pitch so far this week. Yeah, he did, he did a good job. You know, um, the one is close off the, off the bar. Um, you know, and just off sides, obviously, to start that play. Uh, again, he's going to get used to uh, the way center backs defend in this league. Um, maybe the chaos of the league, uh, the different things that that come along with it, the travel, all those things. Um, he'll get used to, and uh, I think he's he's fitting in well with his with the group. Um, but the relationships aren't going to just instantly be perfect. So uh, I thought he played, um, you know, safe in his hold-up play. You know, held the ball and, and played played back and, and square, which was good, and then got himself in the box. Um, but eventually, you know, as he gets more comfortable, I think you'll see him start to turn and and, and maybe go at defenders a little bit. Um, but overall, yeah, good a good performance from him. I have the credit for taking this out before any of the rest of us have the time to. Six combined shots in the game, we think sets an MLS record for the fewest shots. The, in the lowest, game. Would yeah. You, would you have reckoned that these two teams would do that? Isn't it funny? Um, you know, whenever you think you have this game figured out and you see the, the three, three, four, three games that we've played against them or whatever they might be, you know, it, it, it you can have a night like tonight and. 
and again, I don't make excuses, guys, but the elements play a role, right? When it, when that wind is going, you know, when when we're going in the first half, uh, it, it looks pretty good, and we're we're passing and we're keeping them pinned in quite a bit. Uh, and then the second half, it shifts because there's a 35 mile an hour wind and and rain. And I know it probably to the people on TV, they didn't feel that, but the people in the stadium know. Um, just how ugly the the elements can make a game. So um, that part's unfortunate. Um, again, 0-0, zero, zero, probably nobody signed up for tonight, uh, if they would have guessed uh, what the score would be. But uh, it happens, and uh, we kind of canceled each other out, uh, like you mentioned. All right, thanks, guys.